thanks for tuning in. I'm Nia and today we're going to get our hands dirty by making some paper mache garden critters. So I decided to make a ladybug today, but you can choose anything from any pollinator to be composer that you see in your garden. So let's get started. Once you have all of your supplies together, let's get started. Start off by using some paper to form the body. Use the masking tape to help smooth out the form and combine the multiple parts of the body together. Once the body is formed, we can start making our paste. For the paper mache paste, you will be combining one part flour with two parts water. Add more flour or water as you see fit, but you'll want to combine it so that it's a smooth mixture that's not too runny, but not too thick. This next part gets a bit messy, so you'll want to put something down to protect your tabletops or whatever surface you're working on. Now we're going to take our newspaper and cut it into strips that are long enough to wrap around the body of our insect. Use different lengths for different size body parts. Take your newspaper strips and dip them in the batter and begin to gently lay them down onto your shape. Make sure that you cover the body completely with a couple of layers. Paper mache can take up to a day to dry, so make sure it's completely dry before you move on to the next step. Now it's time to paint your creation. Get as fun and creative as you want. You don't have to stick to exactly how the bug looks in real life. This is your chance to make this look however you want. You can even use your construction paper to add little details like legs or antennas. Be sure to let your paint and glue dry before you find a nice place for it in your home. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.